two, one, let's go. Try to run from the switch, we catch him. Young man, say, make it too far. Whole lot of in the cop. I shoot to the mall. I'm in the cop with a up child, fuck me a buck. Bro, buck, 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 gotta stick with a drum. They like, who that, who that? I'm throwing shots, they try to run. Two red, two red. You start to freeze. And so it looks you right between the eyes. Jumped off the bench and I turned into a star. I'm a baller. Anywhere I go, my gang, they know who we are. You can't even see me on FaceTime. Bitch, just ask if I'm the one to DM, don't offense. That ain't me, bitch, that's, that's fake time. <laughs> Money, Wally P, shout out my label. That's me. I own 100% of my cuts. Bitch, nobody taking a f. Back at it again with another reaction video, man. Back at it again with another banger, man. Second reaction video of the night. Second banger of the night, man. Today we got a Watch Mojo video again. The first one was, um, I think it was top 10. Let me see what it was again. Let me see what this bit was again. All the way to the top. All the way to the top. Top 10 secretly dark cartoons. Yeah, that shit got crazy. I'm not going to lie. But today we got top 10 conspiracy theories about companies. Now let's see what's going on. Let's see what the vibes are, man. Before we get into anything, hope you guys are on a bus day. Stay late. Stay outside your grind. Last time I get that bag, we'll get that bag. We're going to go get it. Nobody's going to get that bag for you. And that's a fact, man. It's currently... 7.34 p.m. Expecting you videos to be dropping around 8 p.m., but they will be dropping very soon if they don't drop at 8 p.m., man. It's currently May 13th on a Monday. Now, I know I didn't post for the last two days, but we back in action, man. 26.3K subs. Let's see if we can reach 27K subs by the end of the week, man. Let's go. Three, two, one, let's go. Apple to pay as much like as $500 man. million dollars to settle charges. It purposely slowed older iPhones so customers would opt to buy a new one. Welcome to Watch Mojo. You know Today we're counting true. down our picks for the most intriguing theories about specific companies and their business affairs. Sweeter, bolder, better. You're insane. Number 10. Nestle is privatizing the world's water resources. For years, Nestle, what? the world's largest food and beverage company, has bottled Michigan's water for next to nothing and sold it at great profit. A company what takes control of the world's water supply, creates a monopoly, and sells the water for exorbitant prices. Sounds like the plot of a devious James Bond villain. In fact, they did pretty much oh, just that in life. Quantum of Solace. It's also the heart of a Nestle conspiracy theory, with some believing that the company is buying up the world's water for their own greedy purposes. The company has faced numerous controversy surrounding its bottling practices and according to Earth Island they made over five billion dollars from the sale of bottled water in 2018 the state just approved a new permit that would are you surprised it's water people drink water like they use it for their food they cook with it everything it's fucking water nearly double the amount like, what that is one you talking global about? food giant is allowed to bottle and sell each year Meanwhile, some residents say their water levels are dropping as never before. According to oh, the conspiracy shit. theorists, it's only a matter of time before the groundwater becomes theirs, and then we're all in trouble. They are taking the water that should not be owned by anybody. Water is essential to life. Nobody That's can a own fact. it. Number nine, Procter & Gamble supports the Church of Satan. It's what a beautiful mean? day here at the state capitol. Great day to be a Satanist. I believe it, and nah, I'm very excited about it. Those alive you in the 80s go. and 90s will remember Fine, well the Jesus, satanic bro. panic that gripped the nation in a fever of paranoia. Put simply, the devil was everywhere, and everything from metal music to Dungeons and Dragons was accused of impressing children with satanic beliefs. Dungeons yeah, wild. and Dragons. At first regarded as a harmless game of make-believe, now has both parents and psychologists concerned. Even Procter & Gamble was in league with the devil. In March of 1980, an article was published in the Minneapolis Tribune, arguing that the company's logo contained satanic imagery. P&G vehemently denied the claim, and even fought back by filing several lawsuits. The rumor grew so widespread that even the Church of Satan got involved, and publicly denied that Procter & Gamble was associated with them. But that's just what they want you to think. Hail Satan. Exactly. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Number 8. New World Order slash The Great no, Reset. The Great Jesus, Reset is a wow. welcome recognition that this human tragedy must be a wake-up call. It is imperative that we reimagine, rebuild, redesign, reinvigorate, and rebalance our world. Is the world composed of independent but interconnected that governments, or is it controlled by a secret cabal of elites who are pulling all the strings? Some people believe it's the latter, and if you ask them, 
those puppet masters are veering us toward a new world order. We have a unique but rapidly shrinking window of opportunity to learn lessons and reset ourselves on a more sustainable path. The group suggested a financial and societal rebuild in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. Some think that the WEF had nefarious purposes, suggesting that the proposed reset was a means to take complete control. Some even take the theory further, stating that the WEF will collapse the world's economy, sending everyone into destitution while implanting them with microchips via mandatory... You know what's crazy? This came out how long ago? And they're actually coming out with those microchips this year, like this year going on forward. Vaccines. There's no doubt that that's the, the beast, man. Very survival of the that's human the beast. race requires us to the mark of the beast. Number seven, McDonald's funds the IRA. It's crazy. Some companies are hit with wild and just maybe fun conspiracy theories. Others are accused of funding terrorism. You never know what you're going to get. A conspiracy theory from the 1980s posited that McDonald's was secretly funding the Provisional Irish Republican Army, a paramilitary force responsible for what? killing over 1,700 people, including hundreds of civilians. But despite the dark nature of the theory, its source is actually quite lighthearted. It was eventually traced to a CNN talk show in which the company was praised for its funding of individual retirement accounts. Someone mistook financial oh, so IRAs for the IRA, and the rest is history. IRAs, or individual retirement accounts, are the most popular choice for okay. those saving for retirement, accounting okay. for more than a third of so all just US retirement a assets. Number six, Amazon is spying on us. A that family is, is claiming that their Amazon that Alexa device true. recorded a private conversation in their home and that the recorded audio of their conversation was sent to one of their phone contacts. With new technology comes new conspiracy theories. As home automation becomes increasingly normalized, people grow increasingly concerned that these companies are listening in. At the forefront of this theory is Amazon and their virtual system. Why do you think when you talk, you have so many fucking shits popping up on your phone that says the exact fucking thing that you talked about? A company, a fucking anything, bro. Alexa. Food. Alexa, be honest. What else did you hear today? At rehearsal, I heard you say the F word three times. <laughs> But I'm not going to tell anyone. All right, that's enough. Goodbye. Alexa has been the target of some genuine See, privacy crazy, concerns bro. and grander conspiracy theories, with some believing that Amazon is recording our private conversations and selling the information to third parties. I'm never plugging that device in again. I can't trust it. Basically, there's a spy in everyone's home, and it's sitting right on their Alexa's bedside though? table. The Fortunately, fuck? that's not how Alexa works. Why you get yes, it is always listening, but that's only to hear the command. It doesn't activate and record until it hears the specific wake word. Fear not and talk freely. Alexa is not eavesdropping on you. Man, fact. Number that's five, false. Joe Biden protected Burisma. Alexander Smirnov is accused of falsely claiming that the Ukrainian energy firm Burisma paid the Bidens $5 million a piece back in 2015 and 2016. A holding company based out of Ukraine, Burisma... And how you all say it's not listening, but it's listening for when you give the command. Which means it's always listening. It gotta hear the command somehow. Trolled the country's natural gas like market what? until its dissolution in 2023. The company has a direct link to Hunter Biden, who joined the board in 2014. This partnership became an integral focus of Donald Trump's re-election campaign, as they hoped to discredit Hunter's father, Joe Biden, in the public eye. Trump's team spread misinformation, claiming that Joe Biden protected Hunter by preventing a corruption investigation into Burisma. You had people like the House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer, other House Republicans, saying that these allegations flat out proved that President Biden was guilty of bribery. The story was widely disseminated, but completely unfounded. Following numerous investigations, make make officials sense, found bro. no evidence of a cover-up, and impeachment proceedings against Trump were immediately launched. Number four, big tech controls elections. People had no idea that their data was being taken in this way. No. It's no secret that Facebook is interfering in politics. Whether it's the widespreading of misinformation, see the Biden story, or personalized political happens. ads, there is some degree of manipulation going on. ABC News obtaining some of those ads bought on Facebook on your phone by happens. Russian agents. Facebook admitting they were paid more than $100,000 by Russian companies during the election. Some even suggest that Google has a blatant anti-conservative stance and that it actively suppresses conservative outlets. But a more nefarious theory exists, and that's that big tech, specifically Google and Facebook, are actively interfering in global elections. This is perhaps best represented by the Facebook Crazy. Cambridge Analytica data scandal, which saw personal data being stolen and analyzed for the purpose of political advertising. We would know what kinds of messaging you would be susceptible to and where you're going to consume that. 
and then how many times do we need to touch you with that in order to change how you how you think about something? Just how far does the manipulation go? Are Number you listening three, to Doom? Deepwater Horizon was destroyed That's by crazy. environmentalists. There was an initial boom. The lights went out. And there was a huge explosion. Some conspiracy theories just don't make a whole lot of sense, and this is one of them. On April 20th, 2010, the oil rig Deepwater Horizon suffered a massive blowout, resulting in a devastating fire that destroyed the rig and killed 11 people. It was also Damn. a catastrophic environmental disaster, spilling over 200 million gallons of oil into the go. That That's massive massive crazy. crazy. I'm not going now on. covering some 600 square miles of the Gulf of Mexico, and it could start reaching the United States coast within hours. According to political commentator Rush Limbaugh, hey, this explosion was not an accident, but a planned event orchestrated by environmental hey, wackos to prevent further ocean say. drilling. Naturally, this theory has no basis in reality, and the idea of environmentalists destroying a rig and spilling oil into the water is just mind-bogglingly absurd. Number 2. Apple to intentionally you. slows older iPhones Apple to pay as much as $500 million to sell That's charges. True. It purposely slowed older iPhones so customers would opt to buy a new one. It's a tale as old as time. Well, as old as Apple. The company intentionally slows older iPhones to the point that they are no longer usable and need to be replaced. And while it's true that Apple has... But then I started doing other stuff, bro. You just gotta clear your fucking storage. You got too much storage, my boy. Low they don't make no the sense. The truth of this has been widely misconstrued. Basically, as the software gets updated, older phones can't keep up with the demand and the battery suffers. After a lot of usage, the battery can surge and that causes the phone to shut down, a problem that many of us have had. So Apple throttled the older phones in an attempt to stabilize their performance. They didn't do it to kill the phones. Unfortunately, this is just the nature of technology. Things get outdated and they eventually need to be replaced. The slowing of the phones was an attempted fix, not a grand conspiracy that around planned obsolescence. Though. I still know people who will not upgrade their phone because they think that Apple is doing this. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have that's the option fault. to be notified for occasional videos or all- Bro, if they're not updating their phone, that's just their fault. They're just dumb as hell, nigga. You could have been updated your phone. Number one, new Coke was made to drive demand of classic Coke. Introducing the greatest taste discovery in a hundred years. Introducing the new taste of Coca-Cola. And here we come to the so granddaddy of Coke happen, conspiracy though? theories. Back in the early 80s, the Coca-Cola company was losing market share, and their classic Coke was going the way of the dinosaur. In a desperate attempt to remain relevant, they retooled the formulation and released new Coke. Sweeter. Bolder. Better. You're insane. It was an unmitigated disaster of epic proportions, and Classic Coke was reintroduced just three months later to enormous fanfare, not to mention profits. People were immediately suspicious, believing that Coke had intentionally released a bad product to increase demand and sales for their classic beverage. This theory was so Dang, pronounced words. that it even caught the attention of company president Donald Keough, who playfully quipped, we're not that smart. Do you buy into any of these theories? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to talk about stress, you want to talk about It obviously worked though, so who won? Coke. Man, y'all know how I like that reaction video, man. That was the last one of the day, man. Y'all let me know how y'all like that. Like, comment, subscribe, and down post notification button. As always, I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Peace and love. We need y'all.